In this video, we'll focus on how to add office and desk resources and set specific targets for them. To begin with, in order to add a resource of any type, private office, desk, etc., you should navigate to the Space tab. In it, you will find all of the physical resources that your space has to offer to your tenants. By default, there are three main resources available in the system, meeting rooms, private offices, and desks. Office R&D also allows you to create resources for the different types of services or sp your space offers if needed. You can create new resource types from settings, resource types. The easiest way to start adding your private office and desk resources is directly from your floor plan. Let us start by adding a private office resource. First, navigate to space, locations, and open a floor plan. Then select a room unit on the floor plan and click on the add button located on the upper right sidebar to create a private office associated with this unit. A new pop-up window will open asking you to further specify the general resource properties. The opening window consists of two main tabs, general and calendar. In the general tab, you would first have to choose a name that specifies the title that identifies the resource, a type, pick a resource type, location. The location is only available if you have more than one location and it is pre-selected based on the floor location. Floor, the floor would be automatically applied. Target, we will get back to that part later in the video. Size, office size which should be defined in a number of desks and can also be described as square footage. The size is only applicable to office-like resources and is important for occupancy calculation. Without a desk size number added, the system won't be able to show you the occupancy percentage for the office. Availability period. Select the availability period of the resource. In the calendar tab, you would have to configure the calendar resource properties if you are mapping a bookable resource like a meeting room. Rate. Select the resource rate to specify booking charges. Description. Add a user-friendly description to help the users understand better the specifics of the resource. Image. Browse and locate an image source that you want to display as a preview of resources on the members portal and public calendars. Color. Apply color to differentiate the resource on the members portal and public calendar. Privacy. Configure the visibility of the resource to members. Full access public. Select this option to make the room available to both members and non-members, for example, external customers and drop-ins, and make it visible on the public calendar. Active members. Select this option to make the room available to active members only. Limited. This option allows you to define what type of customers should be able to see and book this resource. If you don't select anything from the two options below it, the room would be available to your admin team only. The first option from this section is the select members. The setting would make the room available only for the selected customers and their respective members. Select plans. Add billing plans to make the room available only for members with the selected plans. The process of adding a desk resource is quite similar to adding a private office. You can proceed with adding it directly from the floor plan by clicking on a desk unit. The add resource sidebar word would appear on the right side again, and you would have to define several general properties for your desks. The only field that has not been covered yet and was mentioned earlier in the video is the one for target. Let us dive deeper into what a target is. Every assignable resource, desk, private office, etc., could have a target plan, which specifies the type of product this resource is suitable for and its price, if it's different from the default price of the plan. Based on the targets you've set for your resources, Office R&D will calculate the revenue target by summing up all resource prices. This comes quite handy for every space operator as once you start assigning memberships to your resources, the system can show you in reports the listing and the license prices, which helps you understand how well your business performs. Last but not least, Office R&D also gives you the opportunity to add private office and desk resources once you navigate to their separate tabs under space. There is a blue add private office or add desk button located in the upper right corner, which you can use. 
It will take you through the same process you just described in this video. However, it would not automatically assign the newly created resource to an actual shape on the floor plan. And this concludes our office desk resource and set a target video guide. If you have any questions regarding this topic or other office R&D functionalities, make sure to visit our knowledge base at help.officerd.com or email us at support at officerd.com to get further assistance.